Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today, guys, I'm going to show you how to configure your Xbox app within Windows 10 to your Xbox One console. Now, there's two ways that you guys can actually do this. You can either do it through your wireless connection or through Ethernet, a hardwire. I'm doing it hardwired, so the way I got it hooked up, this is my nice little switch hub, my, my network hub. The black one goes directly to my router. Uh, one blue one goes directly to the laptop right here and the other blue one if we trace that blue one it's going to go to the Xbox the only reason that I'm doing through Ethernet is because when I did to my wireless uh, I got to purchase a new wireless router it's not handling the connection and once you have your app your Xbox app up and running you guys need to log in with the same username and password that you log in into your Xbox one this is the only way it's gonna work alright guys so whatever account you're set up within your Xbox one you gotta make sure that you are signed in into your Xbox app with that same account so once you're there you guys wanna go into the following so you wanna go into this little portion right here the console I already have mine added but you guys wanna go into you guys want to go into the add devices if you're in the same network it's gonna pick it up just connect it and you're good to go you really don't need to do anything on your Xbox one for this to work now I have destiny up and running because that's what I've been playing this little button right here is it records that I believe it records maybe 10 to 20 seconds of a short clip to so start streaming you could click on this I every time I do the test streaming it fails on me uh, and the reason why is by default if you guys go into settings and you go into game streaming by default it's set to medium for me I had to hit it to low for it to go through so I'm gonna go back into the connected portion right here to the console and I am going to go into my Xbox I'm gonna click on destiny awesome and from here I'm gonna go back into my Xbox one and I'm gonna click on stream I'm gonna click on stream and it says connecting on Xbox One and then you go to Xbox One and it says Tech Zero has started streaming. Then I get this nice little warning right here. Uh, there are no controllers attached to the PC. Attach one to either this PC or the Xbox One and press continue. Which is weird because I already have an Xbox One uh, connected. That's the only way that I was able to select it within the Xbox One console. And so let's go back here. So I'm going to say continue. And once that's continue, I am able, so right now I am going to go into set destination. So as you can see, it is flawless. It works amazing. It, it works like, wow, I, I like the way, I like the connection between the Xbox app within Windows 10 and within the Xbox One. The connection is amazing. Uh, I love the results within the Ethernet. I haven't tried it with wireless again because I'm planning to purchase a new wireless router. Pretty soon you guys are going to see a hands-on on that when I purchase that. But other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on how to set up your Xbox app. A couple of things that you need to know is if you're having issues doing the wireless, try the Ethernet. Try hardwiring it. Make sure that your Xbox app within your Windows 10 machine is signed in to the same account as your Xbox One, okay? Uh, if you're having issues doing the test streaming, just go inside the settings and change it to low profile. And hopefully that will work out for you guys. And I see you guys on the next one. Peace out.